Hi, my name is Vera Hia, and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Brooklyn Arbor Elementary, and I can't wait to talk to you about Zen Shorts. My favorite part of the book was the opportunity to explore the different vignettes that we would see as the panda retold stories that he had heard. Um, thinking about the sneaky raccoon sneaking into a home and just being able to be a story within a story is something that a lot of my students hadn't been exposed to. My own personal teaching is a little different this year. I spend two days in person and one day virtual and then two days back in person. And what I've been struggling to do is finding a way to incorporate the school activities with the home activities. And so what we've happened upon this year is to do special explorations on Wednesday. Sometimes it's a craft or sometimes it's a STEM challenge. One way I would use this book for my Wednesday remote days is to have children create their own retelling of one of the vignettes within the story. I'd ask families and caregivers to record their student acting out one of the vignettes or are they the panda and their siblings might be um, one of the other characters in the story? And then not only will we be learning about whether a student has the opportunity and understanding to retell, but how creative are they? I think there are quite a few themes to explore in this book. I think one theme in particular is Zen and calmness and finding that peace within and how we are confronted with so many things in our day-to-day -day lives, how do we find that moment of just peace? One other lesson that I would use this book with is the opportunity to integrate art into our learning. Um, I found that while I'm teaching in person, I, a lot of my students have lost the opportunity to be creative and explore artistic materials. And so, taking a scene from the story and pulling out some watercolors and exploring the illustrator's craft is a great way to interpret the literary skills that we've learned from the book, but also combining it with some of the creative artistic skills that our children are full of. I think one way that this story is special and unique, and it's a way that I think maybe adults need to think about when interacting with the story, is the way in which the panda interacts with each individual child. Was the panda's interaction specific to that child for a specific reason? And how did that lesson help that child move and grow to be whomever they grow up to be? And as an educator, that's definitely the way I see myself moving throughout my classroom is interacting with one child one way based on what they need at that time and then interacting with another one differently because that child needs something different and how children perceive the lessons and the way we interact with them as an individual versus them as the whole group. This book is a great perspective on the importance of mindfulness and peace. I hope you enjoy reading this book with your students.